लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू टेक्नोफेयर टाइम मशीन वर्चुअली मींस गोइंग बैक इनटू हिस्ट्री और इनटू फ्यूचर वेट 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 प्लीज गेट मी बैक टू दी प्रेजेंट Hey I was not talking time traveling I was talking about taking backup of Mac using time machine time machine allows taking backup of complete system files and everything on your Mac onto an external storage device there are three ways you can do that use an external storage i use this method second if you have got some extra money connect external hard drive onto the usb port of airport extreme base station well the third way is if you've still got more money buy a time capsule for yourself i can't afford that by the way this is your host harish bali let's check it out i have connected external hard disk with mac but the problem is i can't locate it on my desktop solution for this is go to spotlight search and type disk utility look at the left yes it is located but the problem is it's not mounted that is the reason it is not appearing so what i will do is simply click on it and mount it yes it is now visible first thing i will need to do is erase the data on the hard drive by formatting it click on the storage at transcend media and erase give it some name backup ensure that the format that you are using is mac os extended journal guid partition map is the choice and erase erase process is complete and done now this 1 tb external hard drive is completely empty we need to go to system preferences from the apple logo at the top look for time machine here it is this is to backup automatically check this if you want time machine backup to show up on the top as a icon check this box here it is select the disk choose and enter backup is the name use this disk in my case the name of the disk was transcend earlier so i am replacing it it will start in 115 seconds my machine has a data of about 200 gb i think this should take about 2 hours or so an important point before the backup starts is you may also exclude certain files or folders if you want from the options menu here exclude these items if you want to while the backup is in progress let me share some of the do's and don'ts first put your mac to charging because this is consuming lot of power second while it's not a bad idea to partition an external hard drive and use one part to take routine backup or your routine work and the other part for time machine backup but i don't recommend doing that because data is precious one file with malware in one part can impact the complete hard drive why take risk next thing is depending upon the amount of data that you have for backup choose the backup frequency i generally take backup once in a week anyways time machine allows to take continuous backup every hour as well you can read that here every hour every week and every month of the year like in my case i set first backup of 200 gb can take up to 2 hours or so but subsequent backups will take lesser time so let me pause here and come back in 2 to 2 and a half hours time time machine backup has just got completed this has taken almost 4 hours i can go into hard drive and see the backup so this is the way to check go into users apple these are the folders files all these have got saved as backup by the way how was that any queries put that in comments below i would look forward to hear back from you if you have not subscribed to technofair till now please do that by hitting on the subscribe button thanks for your time